Hi everyone, my name is Leanne the Barefoot Medium and welcome to this week's weekly guidance and reading for the week beginning the 4th of January 2016. I hope that you have all enjoyed welcoming in this new phase of your life and I hope that you have been able to leave the learnings, the lessons, the um, challenges from 2015 in 2015 where they belong and that you're able to be safely in the present moment as you move into deciding what it is that you want to embrace this year. So um, the theme that's popping in at the moment is rather than letting go, it's what do you want to let in? So we often hear people talk about let go of or move away from or just, you know, avoid or get rid of. Spirit's asking me to share with you that it's time to really start focusing on what you want to let in rather than let go of. That allows you to remove your energy or your vibration from that lack or what you don't want into that abundance mentality and that vibration of I want more of, I am worthy of. Okay, so as we do that, I'd like to move into this week's reading and guidance session for you. And again, I'm going to be working with my Love's Journey cards as well as the Thought, the Heart and the Action Alchemy cards which um, are also available on my website for those interested in working with them. So let's get started. And today I feel like I want to draw two cards in particular, one for the week and one for the weekend. So I will just ask Spirit to provide me with the guidance that you require for the week ahead. Okay, so, oh, nice. And we do have three cards that have popped out in the reading today, so we'll go with that. So the first card for the week is the beautiful lovers card. Now, the lovers are about what it is that you wish to connect with and what it is that you're passionate about, whether that's your relationship with your partner that you need to work on or your connection with yourself because you are your own lover. And how much are you loving you at the moment? So Spirit's really asking you to focus during this week on what it is you love and what it is that brings you or allows you to feel passionate and joyful in your life and to allow that in. I also want to ask you to be mindful of that sacral chakra, which is where we manifest and create from. And it's all about our sexual energy as well. So be mindful of what you're giving out or giving away. Are you giving too much or is it time to balance and start receiving and manifesting all that it is that you want? So this week it's about embracing the lovers, whether that's you and that's first and foremost, obviously, and also connecting with your partner and bringing the lovers together so that they can connect and move forward together in beautiful ways. So that's for the week. Now, the two cards that I've drawn for the weekend are Justice. Now, she's standing there holding a beautiful card, uh, a beautiful card, yes, she is. <laughs> she's standing there holding um, a beautiful sword and is... Um, enveloped in the color green and so I'm reminded that green is about the heart and compassion and so what we're being asked to do on the weekend as we move into a new moon is to really embrace compassion compassion for yourself and others around you and to just recognize and know when other people's stuff is being triggered by you because sometimes it's not about you. Sometimes you trigger others and you bring up their stuff and their reactions. And so it's important to know when you're triggering others as well as when you're being triggered. 
and to use what Archangel Michael would consider to be that sword to cut any attachments and to just detach from it. So in other words, kind of push away the energy that doesn't fit and feel right for you and trust your physical body or your sense of feel with that because what feels light and right for you may not be light and right for someone else and it is not up to them to judge it as right and wrong. I also feel like I want to say to you it's important to balance the masculine and feminine and to really embrace the feminine energy which is the intuition and the nurturing as you move into the weekend. So that's the first one. The second card that I'm drawn to with the weekend is the Hanged Man. Now again, I think he came up in last week's reading as well. So the Hanged Man is really reminding us to stay focused on the goal and to stay focused on what is light and right for you. Light and right keeps coming up. What is it that you want to let in? And when you let in, it's what's light and right for you. He's taking one step at a time. Yes, he's got a bit of baggage on there. Uh, we've all come with stories from our past. It's whether it weighs you down or it helps you move forward and whether you're struggling with it or not. And so what I would say to you is that you take your past experiences with you because it's part of who you are in terms of your experiences so that you can help others. It's just whether you allow them to um, weigh you down or not. And I feel like he's also saying that there's some travel and some adventure coming up for you, um, whether that's a short trip or a longer trip. It might just be travel out into nature for a little while and allow yourself to have some fun while you focus on your goals this weekend. So that's the cards for this week. I then like to bring in the alchemy cards so that you can work with both um, your thoughts to help you stay positive and focused on what you want to let in. And so the affirmation for this week, <laughs> I am willing to speak up and ask for what I need and desire. So speak up, ask for it. The first step in manifesting and creating and letting in is to be willing to ask for what you want, need and desire. The universe doesn't know you want it unless you focus on it. So I'm challenging you to be willing to ask. Be willing. Awesome. Now, in terms of emotions and what um, we either need to be aware of or let in, let's just see what pops up here. Well, two cards. Wow, complete on opposites here. And so the first one is hate. Okay, now hate is an emotion, it's not who we are. And it comes to us to let us know that there's something that we're doing or that we dislike doing or something that we have in our environment or a relationship that we might be in that doesn't serve us. And so that emotion is really um, spirit giving you a redirection sign and asking you to go, okay, if you hate something, then that's your signal to say, okay, let's change it. Um, it's neither a good nor bad emotion. It's how we express it that makes it um, something that's either positive or empowering or disempowering. And if you sit in the energy of what you hate, then you're really going to keep yourself in that lack mentality rather than that abundance stuff. Okay, so what we're being asked to do is recognize when hate comes up and to just shift your focus into, okay, an opportunity to change that and move in a different direction. And then alongside of it, we have two emotions to be aware of and the other one is honesty. And when you're able to be really honest with yourself around what it is you love and what it is you don't love or hate, then that provides you with a beautiful opportunity or a choice to make. You can either choose to keep doing what you're doing 
or you can make an honest decision and go, you know what, not working for me. I don't enjoy this. So I'm going to step away and focus on what I do love. So get honest with yourself and those around you and share how you feel. If others are challenged by that, then know that they're just challenged by the honesty that they're seeing in you, that they're not willing to give themselves. So take responsibility for looking at that spiritual redirection that you might be getting and honestly make some choices and decisions that work for you. And the final card for this week is the action card. What is it that you need to do or steps to move you forward or steps to move what it is you need to let in? How do we do that? And so the action cards, perfect, are asking you really to focus on self-love. Now, self-love can often be seen by others because you're putting you first, can often be seen as selfish when in actual fact you're just choosing to love you first and to put your priorities first and coming back to that beautiful affirmation that we we got which was around um, being willing to speak up and ask for what you need want and desire and so that is self-love and if you're not willing to ask for what you need want and desire then you're not loving you so how can anyone else do that so Spirit's asking you really to focus this week on embracing the lovers, um, being in balance with yourself and being willing to be compassionate, as well as to take that focus step towards your goal. Um, release and let go of anything that you hate or any opportunities that you don't enjoy that have just, you know, gone past their expiry date is how they, they're letting me hear that. Um, and to make some choices and decisions to love you by stepping away from it. Um, and how others see that is how others see that. So I would like to wish you a beautiful and amazing week of the 4th of January. And if you'd like some further information or insights, you can connect with me through my webpage, thebarefootmedium.com.au. And I also have those cards available if you if you like what you're seeing, um, so you can purchase a set of those for yourself. Okay, have a beautiful week. Mwah.